Go. Oh. What we're doing today is we're taking some of the mixture, the juice we mixed up yesterday has some cilantro and some grapes and some blackberries mm -hmm. and blueberries and we're going to add some more grapes uh -huh. and uh, we're going to add a little bit of vegetables to our fruit drink this afternoon. We're going to put in some more cauliflower. Uh -huh. We're going to put in a little bit of zucchini. Mm -hmm. we're not, I'm not quite sure what that particular taste is going to be. And um, some broccoli and a little bit more celery. And, and I'm going to answer the phone. Oh, you got it? Oh, he, hung, it. he hung up. Okay, then let it ring faster. Olives, cream cheese, a lot of vegetables here, fresh ones. We're going yeah. to add some, um, these are product of Mexico, blackberries. Let me put a few blackberries in there. Mm -hmm. Gives mm -hmm. a little bit of purple color. We'll put a little bit of liquid to make it a little bit more soluble. soluble because it does end up with all the fiber. It it's ends really up being really thick. Yeah. As soon as I get this pulsed a couple times with my blender, I'll put some ice cubes in. And then we'll see if we can put a little bit of coolness to the, the beverage. This is the, the Hamilton Beach mixer that has a high and a low. And what I'm just going to do is pulse it a couple times. It'll make some loud noises here. I think that's fine. And that's a pretty good mix. And now I'm going to put a little bit of ice in it. We've got some ice. Um, this is good for morning morning breakfast. Mm. Oh, really? Morning breakfast or. We're just going to go through all the, all the buttons on this. It's like overflowing right now. Now what you see is a f nice, colorful, fruity vegetable slush. Raw and zango. Some zango in there, that's for all the anti antioxidants that you can find. And you'll see the juice made it a little bit less, so you can pour it easy and, mm. and drink it easy. Okay, here's the final test. A little tart. Uh -huh. Strong berry taste. A little bit of berry taste. I can taste one of the, the, the zucchini. Wow. That's strong. The zango is the basis, I guess. And but I the, think that the apple, the little crunchy bits in there, that are the seeds. The seeds of. The seeds may have been the in grapes. these grapes. They're not seedless. They must not be seedless. Okay. Have a staff. Have a frequent staff come in. We were just doing a commercial break for the. Uh, like, it's vegetable like, fruit smoothies that uh, I do on a weekly basis. Like at the Food Network. This is the Food Network channel. Oh. So some of the final tests that we have when we do these frothy fruit and vegetable drinks is having someone that hasn't ever tasted them taste them to see what their reaction might be. And Wendy, I'd like to invite you to have a little taste. Would okay. that be all right? That would be fine. We put little um, berries, blackberries, blueberries. Um, there's uh, some cauliflower in there. There's some celery. There's some cilantro. Uh, there's a couple of slices mm -hmm. of cu uh, cu um, zucchini. zucchini and some juice. And some. We want to make it a little bit sweet, so we put in a couple of sweeteners. Mm -hmm. You can. It's just like a slush. Or good afternoon pickup. What do you say? 
It is good. All right. That is good. That's the got. final test. All right. Thank you very much for enjoying the show today. We look forward to hearing from you next <laughs> time. And as again, you can always call me. I'm always on the line. So long. <laughs>